happy Thursday, everyone. I just wanted to go over the next big assignment that you have, the Abstracts and Annotated Bibliography. This is a really important project, even though it's only worth 25 points, because it's going to set you up to write an outstanding research paper and earn those nice big 150 points or as close to that as you can get towards your grade in this class. So a couple points. Uh, the research paper topics have already been turned in and graded, so you see I've crossed that off the list. So the next task we have is the abstract and annotated bibliography, and that's what we're going to be talking about primarily today. And then I'm going to go over what the final research paper will entail as well. This will allow you to know where you're going. The abstract. So an abstract needs to include your argument, your thesis, your hypothesis, whatever word you use to describe what you believe. So for example, you could say that white Legos are better than green Legos. That could be an argument. And then you need to have at least one theorist who supports your theory, who proves that white Legos are better than green Legos. But then you need to have at least one theorist who disagrees with your theory. That disagreement could be that green Legos are better than white Legos or that Blue Legos are better than any other Legos, as long as it's somebody who challenges your position. And then your paper will have to have a minimum of three theorists, which is just a fancy word for saying a scholarly point of view. You can use more sources as you put your paper together if you'd like, but you're required to have three. And then you need to have a bibliography showing your scholarly sources in MLA format. We're doing a somewhat annotated bibliography. In a traditional annotated bibliography, you would write a lot more about each of the sources. But for this, for the purposes of this class, you just need to include, for each source, you need to include a one to two sentence summary of why you are using this source. And then don't forget your grammar, formatting, spelling. I, you lose points for those things. Those are how, what I call housekeeping tasks. You just have to write all this with enough lead time that you have time to go back through look for spelling and grammatical errors, formatting problems, have a friend look over your work. This is how we're going to do the abstract grading. You can also see this in Blackboard and it will be in the assignment that appears in Module 11, but I just wanted to give you a heads up on how the points are going to be awarded for this assignment. Then, because it's helpful to know where you're going, a quick overview of the research paper requirements. You need to write five to six pages type double-spaced in MLA format. This does not count your bibliography, which will probably be one more page. You need to include a hypothesis, argument, or point you're trying to prove. You need to have at least one theorist who supports your argument and at least one theorist who disagrees with your argument. And in your paper, you need to address the challenge to your theory. You need to, again, have three separate theorists, and all references must be from scholarly, peer-reviewed articles or our textbook. If you're having problems with that, please reach out to me and we'll work together on a solution. Here is the research paper grading. Now you'll notice, unlike the first two assignments with the research paper, this assignment will actually be graded on content. For example, in addition to what we've been grading on formatting, grammar, spelling, organization of paper, 
we're also going to have the originality of, of your argument um, and how you apply the theorists to prove your point. And again, you can see the grading rubric for this in Blackboard under your My Grades. And when the research paper assignment is available, it, it will show there as well. OK, where we're going next. The assignment for the abstract and bibliography will be located in Module 11, which we will start on the Monday after Thanksgiving. I will, again, turn these around really quickly, and I want you to review the comments I've made before finishing your paper. Um, visit the Learning Resource Center, the library, for research help as needed. You can visit the Academic Success Center for assistance with research strategies, uh, organization of your paper, any of those things. Uh, check the syllabus for details, or you can reach out to me via email, via Blackboard message, or pop in during office hours via Zoom. There are a couple websites I've listed here to help you succeed. One is the Cornell Library uh, Annotated Bibliography. In this article, they talk about 150 words. I don't care about that. One or two sentences is plenty. And then we will be writing an informative abstract per the University of North Carolina Writing Center tips on writing abstracts, if that helps you. I know for some people, writing an abstract before their paper has been written is counterintuitive. But the goal of this exercise is to make sure you have an argument and you have theorists to substantiate that argument. Because the abstract and bibliography is only worth 25 points, if you don't have it completely sorted out, that's fine. Um, but I want to make sure that you're prepared to complete the final paper and get all those points towards your grade. And that's all, folks. So hope this brief video will, was helpful. Have a great day.